Some of you may have seen last week's video, both my games against 95, but uh, we got a third game against each other. So this is this map is 1v1 Marengo tier 2. So let's begin. As usual, I'll have the fog only show my side. And I'm going to turn my army to face the left side, so we're facing opposite directions. A normal capture phase, of course, uh, go for neutral property, for, uh, neutral base first. And go for the, new, the turn 1 captures. I go for the airport. And the APC, pretty normal opening. Everyone goes by APC because it's hard to punish the APC. He goes for a recon opening. Okay. My APC boosts this penguin forward by one tile and is in the position to boost this and to carry the next infantry forward. I go with artillery because I like artillery. And I thought long and hard about where I should put my APC. I think I misplayed it a little bit from its usual usage, so I just decided to uh, drop it forward so I can start capturing this. And I built an artillery on my other side because I'm thinking I want to attack on this side. So, which means I should support my attack with an artillery. And I follow it up with a tank. Here's the recon. Really close to me. That recon sees my artillery go into this forest, but I have a tank back up, so it's fine. And Battlecopter, because why not? It's not like I can afford two tanks. Wait, hang on. One, two, three. Nope, I cannot afford two tanks and an infantry, so I go for a Battlecopter. Recon shoots at my penguin on the city, spots my artillery, I see a tank move in there, So I'm feeling confident since I just punished a recon. And just in case there are more tanks, I put my penguin here so that this tank can only be attacked from one direction. And my artillery is completely walled off. Alright, a preemptive anti-air. I also built an anti-air of my own. And I put my artillery in this forest because I intend to hold these two properties. Not sure if I can get this one, but it's fine if I don't, because I only intend to hold these two properties and that's it. I go on a mountain for vision. I decide to inter well, not really interrupt the capture, but shoot at this so he can't capture this at all. And then I realized I forgot to get the comm tower first. <clears throat> so a little bit of a story about this tank. My opponent was a little distracted and forgot to move the tank. So as a result, they are now down an entire tank. So, similar to how I was playing too quickly last time, and this time my opponent was the one playing too quickly. But they managed to get both of these properties. Uh, so, they haven't gotten this one yet, or this one. Kills my infantry up here, okay.
I continue shooting at this infantry because why not? Uh, probably should have kept it back in reserve to wall off my artillery. I spot this infantry in the forest, so I decide to take a shot at it. I drop more infantry here. And... It's a little risky, but I decide to put my artillery in this forest. I might have been a little too aggressive with this tank, because I just let it get first struck. And it might be overextending. The reason why I'm overextending is because I am up one tank anyway. But I probably should be a little more cautious about that. On the bright side, I managed to win another tank up here. What I probably could have done is uh, move this infantry up here, get the division, then artillery it so that this infantry can kill off the tank, maybe with a luck roll. And I'll just supplement the infantry on the city with my infantry in the back. So that was something I could have done differently, but it doesn't really matter much, it's just 1 HP off a tank. Which, of, in, on a side that I don't plan to attack on, so I'm perfectly fine with that tank escaping. And because I got greedy, I wanted to capture both of these properties, so I know I will be ahead in the capture game. Which I am ahead, but I want to be even more ahead. And I built a medium tank. I decided I need some heavy hitters. Medium tanks can one-shot anti-air, and this is the side where I want my airport to support anyway. So if I have medium tanks one-shotting the anti-air, my battlecopters can probably be for uncontested for the most part. He falls back, that's to be expected. We're kind of dividing our forces in this battle. Maybe I shouldn't have divided my forces. Maybe one artillery and one anti-air should be sufficient. Perhaps. I know it's generally advised not to divide your forces like this because what if they just send everything to one side and wipe you out? Your other side won't have enough units to really do much. So maybe I committed a little too much up here, that's something I could improve on. Like so far these penguins and this artillery was sufficient of holding off, hold, holding off an attack up here, so I didn't need this tank to support it. Maybe I would have wanted a second artillery to get, uh, get a double artillery over here. Maybe. But the tank probably didn't need to be up there. Alright, I leave my APC here because it protects this artillery. I see a medium tank, so he just revealed that to me. Um, let's see. I put a penguin in this forest. Just to get some vision. See where the anti-air is and keep my battlecopter out of range. I keep my medium tank hidden. Pull my APC back, because at this point I want him to attack my artillery. Maybe he will attack it with a medium tank, of which I will first strike it, and then wipe it out with... Or maybe wipe it out with uh, two battlecopters and then my medium tank. Maybe that's... Maybe I can get something off like that. Because if I have the medium tank, then I should win? Possibly. I just know that I wanted something to hit this artillery. I get a shot, an artillery shot over here, so now that revealed to me that he has an artillery on this city. Because there's no way it could be a rocket, right? Right? There's no possibility that it's a rocket? No, of course not. T 
tank attacks my artillery. Okay. And... So, in fog, if you're just clicking and moving, the units are automatically chosen what the computer thinks is the best path. This movement right here just revealed to me that this artillery is either in this forest or on this tile. At least that's why else would it be coming from the right and going down. It's not going to turn back now, is it? So I have a pretty good idea of where that artillery is. And I also see the medium tank move down. So here's the turn. We're both nearing our winter theory, and I intend to get it first because I'm up in income. I should be up in value, according to my KD. And if I superpower first, that means I'm ahead in all three of these, which would inevitably lead to a victory. So, I get the shots which I know for sure I will get. Just, just making sure it's not a rocket or anything. Probably not necessary. Uh, sack the infantry here, so I can wall break with the next one. I see he has a medium tank down here, because while well, my infantry that moved into this forest can jump onto that mountain to get all this nice vision. So I medium tank that artillery. Couldn't quite get the Winter Fury yet. So, use the unit in the back, kill this tank. Now I Winter Fury. I try to attack, wipe out the anti-air so my battlecopters remain uncontested, at least that's the plan. And now, just trying to create a wall such that they can't break through and reach my battlecopters. If the medium tank first strikes my medium tank, uh, sure, I'll, I'm okay with that. I got two battlecopters to weaken that. And then I can probably win a tank war because, well, my 4 HP medium tank, it's not dead yet. I could probably heal it up. And I have a second medium tank coming soon anyway. So that was my plan. Besides, even if my attack here doesn't work too well, I am still up ahead on pretty far on income since I got this property, which he doesn't have up here. I got both of these properties down here, and he doesn't have any of these up here. So I am ahead, I'm feeling confident. And that was it. That was this game. So, this is a third game I had against this person. The first game we both fought pretty well, making little mistakes. Perhaps my opening wasn't that good on that first game. Second game I was eh, not really thinking on my moves, I was just doing stuff, playing a little quickly, and I got wiped out. And in this third game, he was the one distracted this time, so I wiped him out. Maybe we can... Uh, I don't know, maybe we maybe we might play again sometime on another Global League if we ever match up against each other. But I think he is a good player. It's just he was playing a little too quickly, he was distracted this time, 